Have you ever felt like your happiness depends too much on others? Do you find yourself constantly seeking validation or reassurance from someone else? Imagine this. You wake up feeling anxious because you haven't heard from a friend. You spend the day overthinking their response, feeling your mood rise and fall with each notification. This emotional roller coaster is what happens when we become emotionally dependent. Emotional dependency is a common challenge in today's interconnected world. It's the reliance on others for our sense of worth, security, and happiness. Whether it's a friend, partner, or family member, our emotional well-being becomes entangled with their actions and words. This dependency can leave us feeling powerless and anxious, constantly seeking external validation to feel whole. But here's the thing. Emotional independence is not about shutting people out or becoming indifferent. It's about reclaiming your inner strength and resilience, fostering healthier relationships, and finding genuine happiness from within. And today, we're diving deep into this transformative journey with insights from Buddhism, a philosophy that offers profound wisdom on mastering our emotions and achieving inner peace. Throughout this video, we promise to uncover valuable insights and practical advice that can help you break free from emotional dependency. We'll explore how Buddhist teachings can guide us towards emotional independence, offering a path to greater self-awareness and fulfillment. By the end, you'll have practical tools and a newfound understanding to start your journey towards emotional liberation. So, join us on this exploration of self-discovery and empowerment. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven to support our mission of spreading wisdom and compassion in today's fast-paced world. Together, let's aim for 1,000 likes on this video to inspire others to embark on their own journey towards emotional independence. Let's begin. Lesson 1. Understanding Emotional Dependency Emotional dependency affects many aspects of our lives, often without us realizing it. Have you ever felt like your happiness depends entirely on someone else's approval or presence? Or perhaps you find yourself constantly seeking reassurance and validation from others. These are signs of emotional dependency, a condition where our sense of self-worth and emotional stability is overly reliant on external factors. Imagine this scenario. You're in a new relationship and everything seems perfect at first. You feel a rush of euphoria whenever you're with your partner, and their opinion of you becomes paramount. Your mood swings depending on their responses or actions. This emotional roller coaster is a classic example of what happens when we become emotionally dependent. Welcome to Wisdom Woven. In this journey towards emotional independence, we invite you to explore profound insights and transformative practices inspired by Buddhist teachings. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to join our community committed to personal growth and wisdom. Emotional dependency often originates from a fundamental misunderstanding of our own inner workings. It's not just about relationships. It can extend to friendships, family dynamics, and even our professional lives. At its core, emotional dependency stems from a lack of self-awareness and an inability to regulate our own emotions independently. Buddhist teachings offer profound wisdom on understanding the roots of emotional dependency. According to these teachings, our attachment to external conditions for happiness is a source of suffering. The more we cling to things or people for our emotional well-being, the more we set ourselves up for disappointment and instability. To break free from emotional dependency, we must first recognize its signs within ourselves. Do you constantly seek approval from others? Are you afraid of being alone or facing your own thoughts? These are indicators that emotional dependency may be at play in your life. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into how Buddhist principles can guide us towards emotional independence. By understanding the nature of attachment and impermanence, we can begin to cultivate a healthier relationship with ourselves and others. In the upcoming segments, we will explore practical techniques and mindfulness practices that can help loosen the grip of emotional dependency. By incorporating these teachings into our daily lives, we pave the way for greater inner peace and resilience. Join us on this enlightening journey as we discover how to liberate ourselves from the chains of emotional dependency. 
Together, let's embark on a path towards true emotional freedom and fulfillment. Lesson 2, The Roots of Emotional Dependency in Buddhist Teachings Emotional dependency, though common, can be a significant barrier to personal growth and happiness. In Buddhist teachings, this concept is deeply explored, offering profound insights into how we relate to ourselves and others. Buddhism suggests that much of our suffering arises from attachment, the clinging to certain emotions, people, or outcomes. This clinging leads to a cycle of craving and aversion, where our happiness becomes dependent on external factors. Consider this. Have you ever felt your mood shift dramatically based on someone else's actions or words? Perhaps you've noticed a sense of emptiness when you're alone, longing for validation from others. These are manifestations of emotional dependency, where our inner peace is tied to external validation or relationships. Buddhist teachings invite us to examine the root of these dependencies. They highlight the impermanent nature of all things, including emotions and relationships. This impermanence, known as anicca, teaches us that nothing lasts forever. Understanding this can liberate us from the intense grip of emotional attachment. Imagine being able to appreciate moments and relationships without the fear of losing them. Buddhism encourages us to cultivate a balanced perspective, where we cherish the present without clinging to it desperately. This mindset fosters resilience and inner strength, essential qualities for emotional independence. Moreover, Buddhist teachings emphasize the concept of dukkha, often translated as suffering or dissatisfaction. Emotional dependency contributes to this suffering by creating expectations that reality cannot always meet. By recognizing and accepting this truth, we can start to unravel the knots of dependency and find greater peace within ourselves. Practicing mindfulness is central to overcoming emotional dependency. It involves being fully present in each moment, observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment. Through mindfulness, we can develop a deeper understanding of our inner workings, including the patterns of attachment that bind us. The practice of detachment, another cornerstone of Buddhist philosophy, encourages us to let go of attachments that cause suffering. This doesn't mean abandoning relationships or emotions, but rather freeing ourselves from the grip of unhealthy attachments. Detachment allows us to love more freely and authentically, without the fear of loss or rejection. In essence, Buddhist teachings on emotional dependency invite us to explore a path of self-discovery and liberation. By understanding the roots of our attachments and practicing mindfulness and detachment, we can cultivate emotional independence. This journey isn't about suppressing emotions, but rather embracing them with wisdom and compassion. Imagine living with a deep sense of inner peace and contentment, where your happiness isn't reliant on external factors. Buddhism offers practical tools and profound wisdom to guide us on this transformative journey towards emotional freedom. As we delve deeper into these teachings, we uncover valuable insights that empower us to break free from the cycle of emotional dependency. Stay tuned as we explore more practical tips and strategies inspired by Buddhist philosophy in the next part of our journey. Lesson 3 Mindfulness The First Step to Independence Mindfulness is a powerful tool that can transform the way we relate to our emotions and dependencies. Imagine a moment when you felt overwhelmed by a wave of emotions, perhaps anxiety, anger, or sadness. Now, picture being able to observe those emotions without being swept away by them. That's the essence of mindfulness, a practice rooted in Buddhist teachings that teaches us to be fully present in the moment, aware of our thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. By cultivating mindfulness, we create a space between our emotions and our reactions. It allows us to pause before automatically reacting, giving us the freedom to choose how we respond. This simple yet profound shift can break the cycle of emotional dependence, where our happiness and well-being are dictated by external factors or other people's actions. In practical terms, mindfulness involves paying attention to our thoughts and emotions with openness and curiosity. It's about being aware of the present moment, whether we're brushing our teeth, eating a meal, or interacting with others. 
This heightened awareness helps us notice when we're becoming emotionally dependent, seeking validation, reassurance, or fulfillment from outside sources. Through mindfulness practice, we learn to acknowledge our emotions without clinging to them or pushing them away. This non-judgmental awareness fosters a sense of inner stability and resilience. We begin to recognize that emotions, like everything else in life, are impermanent. They arise, stay for a while, and then pass away. This understanding reduces the intensity of emotional dependence because we no longer grasp onto fleeting feelings as if they define us. Moreover, mindfulness teaches us to embrace all aspects of ourselves, including our vulnerabilities and insecurities. Rather than seeking external validation to feel worthy or loved, we cultivate self-compassion and acceptance from within. This inner strength becomes the foundation for emotional independence, where our sense of worthiness comes from our own self-awareness and self-care practices. In essence, mindfulness is not just a practice but a way of life, a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. It invites us to become intimate with our thoughts and emotions, fostering a deeper understanding of our inner landscape. As we integrate mindfulness into our daily routines, we gradually reduce our emotional dependency on others. Instead, we nurture a relationship with ourselves based on kindness, presence, and authenticity. Imagine living each moment with clarity and equanimity, unaffected by external circumstances or others' opinions. This is the promise of mindfulness, a path to emotional freedom and independence. By committing to this practice, we embark on a transformative journey towards greater self-awareness, resilience, and inner peace. In the next part, we will explore how the Buddhist teachings on impermanence, anicca, further support our quest for emotional independence. Lesson 4, Cultivating Self-Compassion In our journey to emotional independence, one of the most profound teachings from Buddhism is about cultivating self-compassion. This concept goes beyond mere sympathy or self-esteem. It's about developing a deep, unconditional kindness towards oneself, regardless of circumstances. Imagine a gentle embrace of understanding that soothes your inner struggles and fosters resilience in the face of challenges. This is what self-compassion offers, a sanctuary within ourselves where we can find solace and strength. When we talk about self-compassion, we often think of it as a soft skill, yet its impact is profound. It involves treating ourselves with the same kindness and care that we would naturally extend to a loved one in distress. Think about the last time you faced difficulty. Did you criticize yourself harshly or offer yourself gentle encouragement? Self-compassion teaches us to befriend our inner dialogue, transforming it from a source of self-criticism to one of support and understanding. Buddhist teachings emphasize that self-compassion is not selfish. It's a vital aspect of mental well-being and spiritual growth. By embracing self-compassion, we create a nurturing environment within ourselves where emotional dependency on external validation or approval diminishes. Instead of seeking validation from others, we learn to validate our own experiences and emotions, fostering a sense of inner security and self-reliance. Practicing self-compassion involves three key components, self-kindness, common humanity, and mindfulness. Self-kindness means being gentle and understanding towards oneself, especially during times of failure or suffering. It's about treating ourselves with the same warmth and care we would offer a close friend in need. Common humanity reminds us that suffering and imperfection are universal. Everyone experiences setbacks and struggles. This awareness helps us feel connected rather than isolated in our challenges. Mindfulness plays a crucial role in self-compassion by fostering awareness of our thoughts and feelings without judgment. Through mindfulness practices such as meditation, we can observe our inner experiences with clarity and compassion. This allows us to respond to our emotions in a balanced and constructive manner, reducing the tendency to react impulsively or seek external validation. In essence, Cultivating self-compassion is a journey of self-discovery and healing. It involves recognizing our inherent worthiness and embracing our vulnerabilities with kindness and understanding. By practicing self-compassion, we build emotional resilience and independence, 
freeing ourselves from the need for constant approval or validation from others. This inner strength enables us to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and grace, fostering deeper connections with ourselves and others along the way. As we delve deeper into the practice of self-compassion, remember that it's a skill that can be cultivated with patience and persistence. Each moment offers an opportunity to choose self-kindness over self-criticism, fostering a compassionate relationship with ourselves that transcends fleeting emotions and external circumstances. By nurturing this inner sanctuary of self-compassion, we empower ourselves to embrace our truest selves and live authentically, anchored in our innate worthiness and resilience. Lesson 5. Cultivating Self-Compassion Welcome to Wisdom Woven. In this part of our journey to emotional independence, we delve into a fundamental yet often overlooked aspect, self-compassion. Imagine a friend who always knows the right words to comfort you, who understands your struggles without judgment. Now, consider extending that same kindness to yourself. This is the essence of self-compassion, a transformative practice rooted deeply in Buddhist teachings. Self-compassion begins with recognizing that suffering is a part of the human experience. Just as others deserve compassion in times of hardship, so do you. It's about embracing your flaws and imperfections with gentleness, rather than harsh self-criticism. This shift in mindset can lead to profound emotional healing and resilience. In our fast-paced lives, we often prioritize caring for others over ourselves. However, true compassion starts from within. By treating yourself with the same empathy and understanding you offer others, you nurture a sense of inner strength and stability. Buddhist philosophy emphasizes the interconnectedness of all beings. When you cultivate self-compassion, you not only enhance your own well-being but also contribute positively to the collective consciousness. This ripple effect can foster greater harmony and compassion in your relationships and community. Self-compassion isn't about self-indulgence or complacency. It's about recognizing your worthiness of love and care, especially during challenging times. By embracing self-compassion, you build emotional resilience and empower yourself to navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease. Research shows that self-compassionate individuals tend to have better mental health outcomes, including reduced anxiety and depression. This isn't surprising, considering that self-compassion involves treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer to a dear friend. In Buddhism, self-compassion is intertwined with the concept of metta or loving-kindness meditation. This practice involves cultivating feelings of goodwill and kindness towards oneself and others. By regularly practicing metta meditation, you can strengthen your capacity for self-compassion and extend compassionate energy to those around you. Self-compassion isn't a one-time effort but a lifelong practice. It requires patience and commitment to cultivate a mindset of kindness towards oneself. Over time, you'll notice a shift in how you relate to yourself and others, a shift towards greater acceptance, forgiveness, and resilience. Incorporating self-compassion into your daily life begins with simple acts of kindness towards yourself. Whether it's giving yourself permission to rest when tired or offering words of encouragement in moments of doubt, these small gestures can have a profound impact on your well-being. Remember, self-compassion isn't about achieving perfection or avoiding challenges. It's about embracing your humanity fully, flaws, mistakes, and all. By treating yourself with compassion, you create a nurturing inner environment where growth and healing can flourish. As we explore deeper into the practice of self-compassion, consider how you can integrate these teachings into your own life. By prioritizing self-compassion, you embark on a journey towards greater emotional independence and inner peace. Join us in the next part as we delve into the transformative role of meditation in cultivating emotional independence. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more insightful content on personal growth and mindfulness. Lesson 6. The Role of Meditation in Emotional Independence In the journey towards emotional independence, meditation stands as a powerful ally, guiding us through the depths of our inner landscape. 
Imagine a practice that not only calms the mind, but also empowers us to navigate life's turbulent waters with clarity and resilience. This is the essence of meditation, a transformative tool rooted in ancient wisdom, yet profoundly relevant today. Meditation serves as a sanctuary amidst the chaos of our emotions. It invites us to sit in stillness, gently observing our thoughts without judgment. Through this practice, we begin to untangle ourselves from the grip of emotional dependency. By cultivating a regular meditation routine, we create space within ourselves, space to breathe, reflect, and ultimately to grow. One of the fundamental benefits of meditation is its ability to cultivate mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment, aware of our thoughts, feelings, and bodily sensations. It teaches us to observe our emotions without being swept away by them. This skill is invaluable in breaking free from emotional dependence because it allows us to respond consciously rather than react impulsively. Moreover, meditation nurtures emotional resilience. It strengthens our capacity to bounce back from adversity by fostering a deeper understanding of our inner workings. As we delve into meditation practice, we develop a profound sense of self-awareness and self-acceptance. These qualities become pillars of our emotional independence, enabling us to face life's challenges with equanimity and grace. Beyond its immediate benefits, meditation aligns with core Buddhist teachings on impermanence and non-attachment. It teaches us to embrace change rather than resist it, to recognize that everything, including our emotions, is fleeting. This perspective liberates us from the need to cling to fleeting pleasures or avoid discomfort, freeing us to experience life more fully. In essence, meditation is a journey inward, a journey towards self-discovery and inner peace. It encourages us to cultivate compassion, both for ourselves and for others. Through regular practice, we begin to dissolve the barriers that separate us from our true selves paving the way for authentic connection and emotional freedom. Imagine a life where your emotions no longer dictate your happiness. A life where you possess the tools to navigate your internal landscape with confidence and clarity. This is the promise of meditation, a practice that empowers us to reclaim our emotional sovereignty and embrace each moment with mindfulness and compassion. As you embark on your meditation journey, remember that consistency is key. Start with just a few minutes each day, gradually increasing as you become more comfortable. There are many forms of meditation, guided, mindfulness, loving kindness. So explore and find what resonates with you. Incorporate meditation into your daily routine, perhaps as a morning ritual or before bed. Create a sacred space where you can sit comfortably and uninterrupted. Settle into your practice with an open heart and a curious mind knowing that each moment of presence brings you closer to emotional independence. In conclusion, meditation is not merely a practice but a pathway to profound personal transformation. It empowers us to cultivate resilience, embrace impermanence, and foster compassion, qualities essential for breaking free from emotional dependence. By integrating meditation into your life, you embark on a journey of self-discovery and inner peace, forging a deeper connection with yourself and the world around you. Lesson 7. Developing Emotional Resilience Through the Four Noble Truths In this segment, we delve into one of the fundamental teachings of Buddhism that can profoundly impact our emotional independence. The Four Noble Truths These truths, articulated by Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha, over 2,500 years ago, provide a clear framework for understanding suffering and its cessation. Let's begin by exploring the first noble truth, the truth of suffering. According to Buddhism, suffering, or dukkha, is an inherent part of life. It encompasses not only the obvious pain and distress we experience, but also the dissatisfaction that arises from clinging to impermanent things. Understanding this truth is crucial because it acknowledges the challenges we face in life, encouraging us to confront them honestly. Moving on to the second noble truth, the origin of suffering. This truth teaches us that the root of suffering lies in our attachments and desires. When we become emotionally dependent on specific outcomes, relationships, or material possessions, 
We inevitably set ourselves up for disappointment and suffering when these inevitably change or cease to satisfy us. Now, let's explore the third noble truth, the cessation of suffering. This truth offers hope and guidance by proclaiming that suffering can be brought to an end. By addressing the causes of our emotional dependence, our attachments and desires, we can gradually free ourselves from suffering. This cessation is not just about avoiding pain, but also about cultivating inner peace and contentment. Finally, the fourth noble truth, the path to the cessation of suffering. This truth outlines the noble eightfold path, which serves as a practical guide for living a life free from emotional dependence and suffering. It includes ethical principles such as right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. These aspects of the path encourage us to develop a balanced and compassionate approach to life. By integrating these truths into our lives, we can cultivate emotional resilience. We learn to acknowledge suffering without being overwhelmed by it, to recognize the impermanence of all things without clinging desperately to them, and to find peace within ourselves rather than seeking it externally. This understanding empowers us to navigate life's challenges with greater equanimity and strength. In the next segment, we will explore the concept of letting go of attachments through the lens of an atta, or non-self, another profound teaching in Buddhism that can further enhance our journey toward emotional independence. Lesson 8 Letting Go of Attachments The Concept of an Atta Non-Self In our journey towards emotional independence, a profound concept from Buddhism offers invaluable wisdom, an atta, or the doctrine of non-self. At its core, an atta teaches us to release our tight grip on the idea of a permanent, unchanging self. This might initially sound unsettling, but it holds a liberating truth. Our identities are not fixed entities, but rather fluid and interconnected with everything around us. Consider for a moment, how often do we cling to labels, roles, and possessions as if they define who we are? The concept of an atta invites us to explore beyond these attachments. It encourages us to see ourselves not as isolated individuals, but as dynamic processes influenced by countless causes and conditions. Imagine a river flowing continuously, changing with every bend and interaction with its surroundings. Similarly, an atta invites us to view ourselves as flowing streams of experiences, shaped by our relationships, thoughts, and emotions. By embracing this fluidity, we can begin to loosen the grip of emotional dependencies that stem from rigid self-definitions. In practical terms, practicing an atta means observing our thoughts and feelings without automatically identifying with them. When we recognize that thoughts come and go like passing clouds, we can avoid getting entangled in their narratives. This awareness fosters emotional resilience and reduces the intensity of our reactions to life's ups and downs. Moreover, an atta encourages us to extend this perspective to others. When we recognize the non-self nature within ourselves, we naturally empathize with others' struggles and joys. This empathy strengthens our relationships and nurtures a deeper sense of connection beyond superficial attachments. Imagine the freedom of living without the constant pressure to uphold a static image of oneself. An atta invites us to embrace this freedom by letting go of the need to control and define every aspect of our lives. It teaches us to flow with the currents of change, finding stability not in clinging to the past, but in embracing the present moment. By practicing an atta, we cultivate a mindset of humility and openness. We acknowledge that our understanding of ourselves and the world is limited and subject to evolution. This humility allows us to learn from every experience, even those that challenge our beliefs or comfort zones. In essence, an atta offers a path to profound emotional liberation. It encourages us to release the fears and insecurities that stem from over-identification with our roles, achievements, and possessions. Instead, we learn to find true fulfillment in our interconnectedness with others and the ever-changing flow of life. Through meditation and mindfulness practices, we can deepen our understanding of an atta. Meditation offers a space to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, 
thereby uncovering the transient nature of the self. This awareness fosters inner peace and resilience, empowering us to navigate life's uncertainties with grace and clarity. In conclusion, Anatta invites us to embrace the beauty of impermanence and interconnectedness. It teaches us that true emotional independence lies not in detachment from others, but in a profound understanding of our interdependence. By letting go of attachments to fixed identities and embracing the fluidity of life, we pave the way for deep healing and genuine happiness. Lesson 9. Building a Supportive Environment In our journey towards emotional independence, creating a supportive environment plays a crucial role. Imagine your environment as a garden where your emotional well-being can either flourish or wither. Just as plants need nurturing, so do our emotions. Think about the people you surround yourself with. Are they sources of positivity and encouragement? In Buddhism, the concept of Sangha refers to a community of practitioners who support each other on the path to enlightenment. Similarly, in our daily lives, surrounding ourselves with supportive individuals can greatly influence our emotional state. Supportive environments aren't just about people. They also include physical spaces. A cluttered or chaotic environment can contribute to stress and emotional turbulence. Creating a clean, organized space can foster a sense of calm and clarity, making it easier to cultivate emotional independence. Beyond physical surroundings, consider your digital environment. Social media and online interactions can either uplift or drain your emotional energy. Being mindful of what you consume online and whom you engage with can significantly impact your emotional well-being. Building a supportive environment also involves setting boundaries. Learning to say no when necessary and prioritizing your emotional needs isn't selfish. It's essential for maintaining balance and independence. Reflect on your daily routines. Do they support your emotional goals? Simple practices like morning meditation, journaling, or engaging in hobbies can contribute to a positive mindset and emotional resilience. Take stock of your relationships. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect, trust, and empathy. Cultivate connections that nourish your emotional growth and let go of those that consistently drain your energy or undermine your independence. Consider seeking support from a mentor, therapist, or spiritual guide. Talking through your emotions with a trusted advisor can provide clarity and perspective, helping you navigate challenges with greater resilience. Remember, building a supportive environment is an ongoing process. It requires awareness, intentionality, and sometimes the courage to make difficult but necessary changes for your emotional well-being. As you continue on your journey towards emotional independence, take time to evaluate and adjust your environment as needed. Surround yourself with positivity, cultivate inner strength, and nurture relationships that empower you to thrive emotionally. By creating a supportive environment conducive to emotional independence, you're laying the foundation for a more fulfilling and resilient life. Lesson 10, Integrating Buddhist Practices in Daily Life. In today's fast-paced world, finding moments of peace and clarity can seem like a distant dream. But what if I told you that the ancient wisdom of Buddhism offers practical tools to navigate the complexities of modern life? Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where we explore how Buddhist practices can empower you to cultivate emotional independence and inner strength. Imagine starting your day with a sense of calm that lasts, no matter what challenges arise. Buddhist teachings encourage integrating mindfulness into everyday routines. It's about being present in each moment, whether you're sipping your morning coffee or commuting to work. By paying attention to your thoughts and feelings without judgment, you can gradually lessen emotional dependence on external factors. One of the simplest yet profound practices is mindful breathing. Taking a few minutes each day to focus on your breath grounds you in the present moment. This practice not only reduces stress, but also enhances your ability to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively to situations. Another cornerstone of Buddhist philosophy is loving-kindness meditation. This practice involves silently repeating phrases of goodwill towards yourself and others. By nurturing feelings of compassion, you create a positive emotional environment within and around you. 
This simple act can gradually dissolve the need for constant validation from others, fostering emotional independence. Incorporating gratitude into your daily routine is another powerful tool. Buddhism teaches that appreciating the present moment and acknowledging the kindness of others cultivates a sense of contentment that isn't reliant on external circumstances. Whether you jot down three things you're grateful for each night or silently reflect during a quiet moment, gratitude shifts your focus from lack to abundance. Buddhism also emphasizes ethical living through the practice of right speech and action. Being mindful of how your words and deeds impact others promotes harmonious relationships and strengthens your sense of integrity. This ethical framework supports emotional independence by aligning your actions with your values, reducing inner conflict and dependence on external approval. In the midst of life's challenges, Buddhist teachings offer the concept of impermanence, anicca. This principle reminds us that everything is in a constant state of flux, including our emotions. By embracing impermanence, you learn to ride the waves of life without clinging to fleeting moments of pleasure or resisting inevitable hardships. Another transformative practice is letting go of attachments, anatta. Buddhism teaches that clinging to a fixed sense of self or possessions leads to suffering. By cultivating a mindset of non-attachment, you free yourself from the emotional roller coaster of desire and aversion. This doesn't mean abandoning relationships or goals, but rather approaching them with a sense of openness and detachment from specific outcomes. Integrating these practices into your daily life isn't about perfection, but about progress. Each mindful breath, moment of gratitude, or act of compassion contributes to your emotional resilience and independence. Over time, you'll find yourself less swayed by external circumstances and more anchored in your inner strength and wisdom. As you explore these practices, remember that transformation takes time and patience. Be kind to yourself along the journey, celebrating each small step towards greater emotional independence. By weaving these ancient teachings into your modern life, you empower yourself to navigate challenges with grace and cultivate lasting happiness from within. Join us in embracing the transformative power of Buddhist practices. Together, let's weave a tapestry of wisdom that enriches our lives and fosters emotional independence in an ever-changing world. Conclusion and practical tips. Embracing emotional independence. Welcome back to Wisdom Woven. Throughout this journey, we've explored profound insights from Buddhism on how to break free from emotional dependency and cultivate true inner strength. By now, you've gained valuable knowledge on mindfulness, detachment, self-compassion, and resilience, essential teachings that can transform your relationship with yourself and others. As we conclude, let's distill these teachings into practical tips that you can apply in your daily life. Imagine waking up each morning feeling grounded, regardless of external circumstances. This sense of inner stability is not just a distant dream, but a practical reality within your reach. Here's how you can start. Begin your day with a moment of mindfulness. Take a few deep breaths, acknowledging the present moment without judgment. This simple practice sets a tone of awareness and clarity for the day ahead. Throughout your day, practice letting go of attachments. Remember the Buddhist concept of impermanence, anicca, Nothing stays the same forever. By accepting this truth, you can release unnecessary emotional burdens and find peace in the flux of life. Nurture self-compassion like you would a tender plant. Be kind to yourself in moments of difficulty or self-doubt. Treat your inner dialogue with gentleness and understanding, just as you would comfort a dear friend. Integrate meditation into your routine. Whether it's a short session in the morning or a mindful walk in nature, meditation cultivates a calm mind and enhances emotional resilience. It's a powerful tool for centering yourself amidst life's challenges. Apply the Four Noble Truths practically. Acknowledge suffering, identify its causes, often rooted in attachment and craving. Recognize that suffering can be transcended and follow the path to liberation through ethical living, mental discipline, and wisdom. Understand the concept of non-self, anatta. Realize that your sense of identity is not fixed but fluid. 
This understanding liberates you from the need for validation from others and fosters authentic connections based on mutual respect and understanding. Surround yourself with supportive relationships. Cultivate friendships and connections that uplift and inspire you. Share your journey towards emotional independence with those who understand and support your growth. Create a sanctuary within your home, a space where you can retreat and reconnect with yourself. Fill it with elements that soothe your senses and remind you of your inner strength and worth. Practice gratitude daily. Reflect on the blessings in your life, no matter how small. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have, fostering contentment and reducing emotional dependency on external circumstances. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Pursue hobbies, explore nature, or immerse yourself in creative pursuits. These moments of joy nurture your spirit and remind you of your inherent worth beyond any external validation. When faced with challenges, embrace them as opportunities for growth. Every setback is a chance to cultivate resilience and deepen your understanding of yourself. Trust in your ability to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. Remember, the journey towards emotional independence is not linear. It's a continuous practice of self-discovery and self-compassion. Be patient with yourself and celebrate each small step forward. As we conclude, I invite you to integrate these teachings into your life gradually. Embrace the wisdom of Buddhism not as a set of rigid rules but as a compassionate guide towards inner freedom and fulfillment. By nurturing your emotional independence, you empower yourself to live authentically and cultivate meaningful connections with others. Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more insightful content on personal growth and wisdom from around the world. Together, let's weave a tapestry of wisdom that enriches our lives and those around us.